It is a policy that you have been ordered to implement by the President, and you have been made the de facto spokesman for what uh, many of us believe to be a failed policy. Despite what I view as your rather extraordinary efforts in your testimony both yesterday and today, uh, I think that um, uh, the reports that you provide to us really require the willing suspension of disbelief. The Senate's top Democrat questioned Petraeus's credibility. He's made a number of statements over the uh, years that have not proven to be factual. The ad in the New York Times accused Petraeus of cooking the books on the war for the White House, calling him General Betraeus. Democrats are calling him a traitor. How George can they Soros do that? George Soros is behind MoveOn.org. Can I assume that this is a personal attack from George Soros through MoveOn on the general? I think it is a, per it's a strategy to discredit Petraeus. I think a number of Democrats wanted this to happen because they realized how credible he is for many of the reasons I just said, and they didn't want their fingerprints on it. You see, I, I think it's foolish for them to dissociate themselves with it. They, they're not responsible for it. They didn't create this that. This has been this, this mantra, we support the, the soldiers but not the mission. Well, uh, uh, General Petraeus is a soldier. It's he a, is the a, field a, commander a of these soldiers. Too. He became a politician well, six weeks before the 2004 election when he wrote an op-ed that said things like this. I wrote it down. We have great momentum, optimism, tangible progress. Right before the presidential election, he inserts himself in there. So right, well, nobody's beyond criticism here, and that includes General Petraeus.